come to your galaxy. I hear that this toy is full of gas. <laughs> Green Bear, what? It's a science joke. <laughs> More like hot air. Red Bear, what? It's a Green Bear joke. <laughs> All right, you two. Nova, the Star Eater. What? We're entering into our galaxy. And there's Nova. Why is Nova licking its lips like it's hungry? And there's a white dwarf planet and a yellow dwarf planet. And then there's the yellow dwarf. Oh no, that's, that's, wait, yellow dwarf. If I am thinking correctly, and the back will tell me if I'm right, a yellow dwarf is, it's a sun. You never really thought of the sun as a dwarf, did you? Yeah, me neither. The blue giant, the red super giant, and Nova the star eater. Huh, that's strange. Now Nova can't stop eating. A munch here, a gobble there, a crunch, crunch, crunch. She glides through the galaxy, slurping up stars at the speed of light. Ooh, hungry girl. Never stopping to think whose stars they might be. I mean, really, what if that was somebody's star? Her favorites, red super giants, yummy and plump, but she will eat any star she sees. Oh, I better stay away, just in case she likes stage and screen ostrich stars. Oh yes, Olivia, stay far, far away. And uh, she will eat any star she sees, so you never know. White dwarfs, blue giants, binaries, whatever. That could include superstar ostriches. One day, she spots a juicy yellow dwarf near a pretty bluish green planet. A planet wrapped in swirls like comet tails. Wait a minute, that sounds a lot like our planet. Nova sets her sights, opens wide, and... Oh, wait a minute. Okay, if that's, if that's our planet, then... And that's... Our, wait, she didn't... No, she couldn't have... No, no, I didn't, she couldn't... Oh, no, she did! Little does Nova know, her wild star swallowing ways create panic on Earth. Ah! Ooh! Ah! Ooh! That's right, you see? We're plunged into darkness. They're, they were getting a suntan, no more, and just instant night. Leaders from around the world gather and leap into action. There's no time to spare, declares a leader from Egypt. Contact the space station, commands the leader from France. Send our best astronauts, instruct the leaders from Brazil. What's happening, you're wondering? Oh, 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 it's bad. Satisfied after her cosmic treat, Nova bumps and bounces and burps her way through the solar system. Oh, is that her burping a little there? Suddenly she hears, attention, attention, thanks. <laughs> Nova booms. You surprised the stardust out of me. We are representatives of Earth. What did you do to our sun? We need it back now, say the astronauts. Well, aren't you rude, Nova fumes. Our apologies, but the situation is dire, the astronauts yell. The sun is our star. Oh, your star. Well, I, um, I... I ate it? Burp. Oh no. And Green Bear was right. This is full of gas. But, 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 but it's ours and we need it. They shout, please. Oh, well, I, I needed it too and it was delicious. Nova gushes. What good is it to you? What good is it? Are you serious? Serious? You mean the dog star? No, no, no. I'm not a star. I'm Nova the Star Eater, she boasts. This is no time for boasting, Nova. Star Eater, the sun isn't a snack. The sun gives us life. They are screaming at this point. I mean, do you know what it means for the Earth to have zero sun? It's not a pretty picture. Well, well, you know, you know what? Same here. But how does it give you life? You are much too small to eat a yellow dwarf. We don't eat it. The people on Earth need it to survive. The sun provides energy for plants to grow, light so we can see, and heat to keep us warm. Without it, we'll freeze. Earth? Is that the pretty bluish green planet over there? Yes, and those blues and greens will fade away without the sun. We'll lose track of the days. We won't have any seasons. 
Okay, 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 I get it. But like, what do you want me to do, Nova Burbles? Like I said, um, I ate it. Oh, I feel awful. Well, you know, you probably have heartburn. The sun is hot. Luminous to earth. Luminous to earth. Any ideas on how to remove the sun from Nova? The question is greeted with silence. Until the leader from China asks, should we wait until it passes and risk the sun being digested? Dangerous idea. But the sun is magnetic. Maybe we can put our gigantic magnets to use, suggests the leaders from India. No way. That could throw our entire solar system out of whack. Do we know of any uh, stomach doctors with astronomical experience? Wonders the leaders from Canada. Astronomical experience in stomach doctors? I don't think that's very specialized. I don't think so. So the room just explodes with nervous chatter and debate. I mean, we need a solution and we need it fast, people. Pronto. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. May I have your attention, please? Okay. All the faces, including her mom's, turn toward the girl. Oh, who is this girl? Who she? Oh, she's been hanging around at, at apparently the space station headquarters crisis control center because you know they have to come in probably at nights and weekends to take care of this problem. Um, I, I know what we can do. Announces this child. We could tickle her. Tickle her? Asks her mom, the leader from the United States of America. Yes, tickle her, says the little girl. Oh, okay, so now we know that this is the president. Oh, it's bad when the president has to come show up. You know that. Yeah, we'll tickle her. We'll make her laugh so hard that she hiccups out our son. Best idea so far, admits the leader from Mexico. It just might work, Kaiki, agrees the leader from Australia, who might be offended at my imitation of him. Uh, how do you tickle a star eater? Inquires the leader from Ethiopia. The room. I think I know, says the little girl. Oh, she came up with all these crazy ideas. Uh, Nova? 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 We've got a plan, say the astronauts. Uh, actually, a little girl came up with the idea. She wants to know if we could tickle you. <laughs> tickle me? Well... Okay, I hope that this one is eating a red supergiant. Burp. We've got to hurry. Follow us. Okay, so at least she's cooperating. Thank goodness. Why is she so hungry? Well, when she reaches Earth, Nova squirms and squiggles as the wind twirls below her. <laughs> and and she, she whirls and wiggles as the treetops tickle her back. <laughs> Oh, I see. She's getting really close and getting ticklish over here by the earth. And, and then she starts to jerk and jiggle as the ocean waves swish at her tummy. <laughs> then part two kicks in. Luminos moves in and extends its robotic arm with that giant robotic hand. Commence final phase of tickling, commands the little girl who is like, wow, going to be a president too, apparently. And tickle, 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 boop, out pops the sun. Followed by a array of star sprinkles. Ooh, 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 that felt silly. And you did me a favor. With all that gas, I think your tasty sun had given me a case of the solar flares. <laughs> Said Nova. Then... She nudges the sun back into place. There, right where I found it. Whew. Thanks, Nova. Next time, may we suggest eating a star near Orion's belt? There are some to spare, say the astronauts. And the room goes wild. And as Nova streaks through the universe, looking for more stars to crunch on, crunch, 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 she often remembers the pretty bluish green planet. Oh, before snarfing. Oh, 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 um, pardon me. Is this your star? She asks. Nurse needs nerves. Fantastic. Nope. Oh, the aliens said it was okay. Well, if the aliens said it wasn't their planet, then 
Bon Appetit, Nova! But please, everyone, including any Novas who may be reading today, remember that Earth's sun is a star, not a snack. And the book goes on to tell us that our sun is a yellow dwarf. I know, you don't think of it as a dwarf, right? Because it's so big. But it is a yellow dwarf that is 4.5 billion, with a B, years old. Happy birthday to the sun. And it is essential to the earth in so many ways. So please, 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 don't eat it. No matter what, no matter how hungry you might be. And there's, there's earth, thanks Nova. And there's Mars and there's Saturn and there's Jupiter and there's all that stardust that Nova happened to cough up. And there's Venus, the planet of beauty and Mercury. And woo. thankfully the sun's out. That means, well, the sun is still there. And so is the star. Yes, so is our star. Thank goodness I wasn't around. I could have gotten eaten by that giant thing. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. It's so dangerous out there in the intergalactic universe. Oh, you know, being a superstar doesn't always mean that you're protected from things like star eaters. Good thing that, ooh, that little girl came to the rescue. Oh, I know. Thank goodness for us all. Well, kid, remember that the sun is our friend, not food. See you next time on planet Earth, where kid time story time lives and reigns.